It's time once again for Shelf Life Book Reviews Online, where you hear reviews of some of the best books out there, both fiction and nonfiction. And when you go to your local bookstore, hopefully my reviews will steer you in the direction of the books that I'm mentioning. And this one today, I really, really liked. It's Jack Kirby, The Epic Life of the King of Comics by Tom Scioli. Uh, this is published by Tin Speed Graphics and it retails for $29.95. I've read a previous book uh, about Jack Kirby, uh, who was most instrumental in the success of Marvel Comics uh, back in the 60s. But this one uh, is very different because it is in graphic novel form, meaning it is drawn just like a comic book. And the author, Tom Scioli, is most talented as he relates the life of Jack Kirby. Uh, Jack Kirby grew up in New York in the 1920s. Uh, and uh, there were gang fights and he was part of that. There were neighborhood gangs. and But he was always interested uh, in the funny, the funny papers, you know, the comics, like Prince Valiant and, and things like that, uh, comic strips that were popular in the 1930s and so. And so he tried his hand at artwork and he found that, that he was pretty successful. Now the book really tells his entire life story, not just uh, in the comic book world. Uh, he fought in World War II, he, he killed, uh, he saw people, his friends killed, and it was a very sobering experience, you know, to watch the horrors of war. Uh, but when he came back home, he went with the timely uh, comics group uh, where Joe Simon was one of the heads there. And Joe Simon was instrumental in uh, creating a lot of characters himself, such as Captain America. So um, Timely eventually did become Marvel Comics, and then he went over to the National Comics publications, and he drew you know, romance, war, uh, horror for them, and they eventually evolved into DC Comics. So he's had quite a life in comics, and um, when he went to Marvel, that's when things really changed. Uh, he met Stan Lee there, as we all know Stan Lee, uh, very famous uh, part of Marvel Comics. Now, um, there's a lot of controversy. Joe, um, Jack Kirby was responsible for creating such, uh, well, memorable comic book characters as Spider-Man, uh, the Hulk, the Ant-Man, uh, Thor, Fantastic Four, the Avengers, Black Surfer, or Silver Surfer, sorry, and the Black Panther. And, uh, but um, Stan Lee wanted to hog most of the glory, and he really never gave Jack Kirby his due. And that was a sad part of it all, that he gave them everything they wanted for. He drew, uh, he created stories, and it was... a always, um, well, most of the time in the comics it said a Stan Lee production. And it really was a Jack Kirby production in many ways. But he was really pushed to the bottom of uh, the rung at Marvel. And in the early 1970s he finally went to DC where he just got sick of it. He just couldn't handle the fact that he wasn't getting paid his fair share because he was uh, really the impetus for the, the millions of dollars that Marvel was raking in with their uh, newsstand sales. So when he went to DC, uh, first he was told what he was supposed to draw. He drew Superman, but they didn't like the way he drew Superman, so they changed all his artwork. And so he ultimately created the New Gods and the Forever People at DC, which became fairly popular comics. And then they decided to terminate those comics. Uh, so um, Jack Kirby uh, eventually went back to Marvel. and um, But it's still uh, a most fascinating look at his life. Then he went into animation and um, he, he died, uh, I believe it was 1994 that he died, and um, he was the unsung hero of Marvel. In fact, he even commented that he saved Marvel's ass an exact quote that he made. And it's very true. If not for him, Marvel would not have been um, what they were then and what they are today. Um, later, um, when Marvel was bought out by Disney, um, the Jack Kirby's 
the state was given uh, a settlement, but it was sad that he wasn't around to see it because he was worthy of, of you know, getting, uh, you know, the finances finally because he was underpaid and under, well, under-respected. I don't know if there's such a term as under-respected, but he wasn't respected. And so this, this book um, is written as if Jack Kirby wrote it, and it is a most memorable book. So if you like graphic novels, and if you like comics, and you're a fan of Jack Kirby, this book shows uh, a lot of his artwork from his early productions and his later comic productions too. So uh, look this book up at your local bookstore. Jack Kirby, The Epic Life of the King of Comics. This is an epic work. So if you do purchase it, please let me know if you do agree with my review. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will be back with another review very soon. So until we meet again, stay safe. Stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.